welcome back at the Nazi Stratus workshop. I had some space left underneath the double floor. So, made some drawers. You never know where it's good for and what you can you know, put in it. But I need a water hose, so like a garden hose or something, to fill up the tanks. So that could be in one drawer, and maybe electric cable or, well, some other parts. Who knows? This thing we use between the doors, so that could fit in one of these drawers if it's small enough. Ah, it doesn't fit on it. <laughs> well, that is enough. It's something else. I made the last 30 centimeters uh, double. Uh, the reason is that if you put it up, up until there, and we've got one meter here then this is pretty sturdy so even if we use the little kitchen outside I guess we could put it on here so so yeah let's see what other little jobs we can do to finish the interior of the van shelf up there well any storage space is welcome but uh, I needed to have some base to put some curtains on so we can close the back side next to that uh, yeah we have to do some insulation yet and uh, finish the little latches on the drawers so they can't fall out when we go around the corner so these are in I uh, still have to pay, put one on 
uh, the little door underneath the kitchen. Uh, we put the little board uh, in f uh, underneath the bed so the drawers won't uh, slide out uh, to the inside. Um, yeah, and there's still a lot of other little things to do. Uh, but slowly we're getting to finishing this fan conversion. Uh, just measured some things on the back door so we can put insulation on that and have a little shelf. But because there will be an outside shower, I also need to see how I can well how I can do that. So uh, maybe put plastic on the door or whatever. But <laughs> when you are using the shower and you put the shower away from uh, the shower head away from the van, I guess it would be okay. But we'll see. So let's see what we uh, yeah what we can do more this week. If my twin brother is finishing this painting.
that's it for this week. Uh, the side door is done. Uh, I still have to take off the panel uh, of the lower part like I did at the back door here and fill it up with some insulation because now I did this it makes a hell lot of difference uh, for the sound so I guess when you're on the campsite and you have to open the doors or whatever and you don't have all this noise that maybe helps uh, so that's done um, this panel is done it didn't get as nice as I hoped it would be by just spraying it but I don't know it's black so and for this side there is no panel anymore I've got to make this one and uh, that's a bit of a challenge because this panel was like plastic because it was pre-shaped like but I think I'm just gonna make a flat panel and see what I can do with these bolts and well to hide that there's going to be these little shelves that are made already uh, on the side here where you can put some books in or whatever and then in the next video is going to be all about the curtains that have to be put in and I guess when that's done I'm ready on the inside and then we have to make the C profiles on here for the awnings and some other little things in the cabin well we're not going to do the cabin now because this is now finished it's still nice weather so in a day or two I hope this will all be finished and we can drive off and <laughs> go somewhere um, but yeah see you in the next video with the last part at the logo And another tip, with some magnets and a little bit of alufoil that you also use for the windows, uh, when the car is in the sun the whole day and the plastic parts, uh, well, they're going to be brittle because of the sun, especially on an old car because, you know, all the wheat makers in there are going to be, you know, so we just use a few magnets and some of this stuff and we protect our or handles when it's in the sun. Uh, that's an easy and cheap solution to do that. But like I said, see you in the next video. I don't know.